dear students in this section we are going to study about regression analysis and analysis of variance which we usually term it as ANOVA so here we study the regression analysis from this point of view that is from the point of view of this ANOVA or analysis of variance and this shows a complementary way of looking at the statistical inference problem so uh, this section explains how can we approach this statistical inference uh, from the viewpoint of this analysis of variance concept or ANOVA concept concept so for that let us recall the identity that is TSS ESS and RSS total sum of square expected sum of square and residual sum, sum of square so this is the identity sigma y a square is equal to sigma y a hat square plus sigma u y hat square you uh, remember this this is TSS ESS RSS or this ESS expected expected sum of square can be written as beta 2 hat square sigma x i square so here this we already discussed all these things this total sum of square is decomposed or divided into two components that is ESS explained sum of square and RSS residual sum of square so a study of these components of TSS that is ESS and RSS are the two components so a study of these components is called analysis of variance from the regression point of view so here we are dealing with these different components explained sum of square as well as residual sum of square which are the two components of our total sum of square so associated with any sum of square there is its degrees of freedom we already uh, saw or came to deal with this degrees of freedom in many uh, sections and this degrees of freedom is nothing but the number of independent observations on which it this um, regression analysis is based upon so total sum of square has n minus 1 degrees of freedom because we lose 1 degrees of freedom in computing the sample mean so when we are taking the mean value uh, we lose 1 degrees of freedom so TSS has n minus 1 degrees of freedom then residual sum of square has n minus 2 degrees of freedom so oh, for all this here we are dealing with the two variable or simple regression model uh, with intercept beta 1 and also um, ESS that is explained sum of square has 1 degrees of freedom again in the case of a two variable regression model so we know that ESS is beta 2 hat square sigma x i square so here there is only beta 2 hat this is only the parameter so and uh, sigma x i square is already known so here we have only 1 degrees of freedom so uh, next task in this ANOVA regression model is to arrange this various sum of square or TSS ESS RSS with their degrees of freedom in a table so what we are doing is we are just arranging these sum of squares along with their degrees of freedom and this table is called the AOV or ANOVA table AOV or ANOVA analysis of variance or an ANOVA table so this is the ANOVA table so there are uh, different column first is source of variation that is it can be ESS or RSS these are the two components so variation can be due to regression or explain the sum of square or it can be due to residuals so that is RSS so, and uh, this last row represent the sum of these two rows now SS is nothing but sum of squares that is this ESS and RSS will be represented in the uh, equation form DF is the degrees of freedom then mean sum of square MSS is the mean sum of square it is nothing but this sum of square divided by degrees of freedom now let us look the first row due to regression that is explained the sum of square we know that it is beta 2 hat square sigma x i square and the degrees of freedom is only 1 because we have only one parameter beta 2 hat so 1 degrees of freedom and mean sum of square is this component divided by 1 that is this same component itself that is SS divided by DF is mean sum of square here beta 2 hat sigma square sigma x i square divided by 1 that is beta 2 hat square sigma x i square itself 
Second component is due to residuals that is RSS. We know that it is sigma u y hat square and the degrees of freedom is n minus 2 because this is a two variable regression model. So, there are two parameters to be estimated beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat will be there and therefore the degrees of freedom will be n minus 2 and the mean sum of square is nothing but ss divided by df that is sigma ui hat square divided by n minus 2 and we have already explained this component that is sigma hat square or variance sigma hat square is nothing but sigma ui hat square divided by n minus 2 so this is the mean sum of square in the case of a residual sum of square now the third row is nothing but the sum of these two ess plus rss is tss sigma ya hat square plus sigma ui hat square is the sigma ya square then 1 plus n minus 2 1 plus n minus 2 is nothing but n minus 1 then uh, so this is the total sum of square now Given the entries of above table, that means we have already entered the sum of square, its degrees of freedom, we have found the mean sum of square. Now we have the F distribution, that is F distribution follows the equation F is equal to mean sum of square of ESS divided by mean sum of square of RSS. So what is mean sum of square of ESS? So this is the mean sum of square of ESS and this is the mean sum of square of RSS. So that is the F distribution. Mean sum of square of ESS is beta 2 hat square sigma xi square. Mean sum of square of RSS is sigma ui hat square divided by n minus 2 which is equal to sigma hat square. So this equation follows f distribution so here we assume that our error term ui is normally distributed um, when we are dealing with the classical normal linear regression model we have came across the normality assumptions and here we are assuming this normality assumption of our error term and if the null hypothesis is that beta 2 equal to 0 our h naught null hypothesis is beta 2 is equal to 0 then this can be shown that f variable when we consider the f variable it follows f distribution with one degrees of freedom in the numerator and n minus two degrees of freedom in the denominator that is here for explained sum of square we have only one degrees of freedom for residual sum of square we have n minus two degrees of freedom so this follows an f distribution so we have to find out the f ratio to test the null hypothesis that beta 2 equal to zero and uh, all the quantities in the equation can be obtained from the sample data that we have we have with us and we have to find the f ratio and this f ratio provides a test statistic to test the null hypothesis or null hypothesis is beta 2 equal to 0 we have to test this using any test statistic and we are we can uh, go to the f test and we have to compute the f ratio we have to compute the F ratio and after computing the F ratio, we have to compare this F ratio with the critical value or the um, table value. So, we have the uh, obtained value with us, we have to compare it with the table value at the chosen level of significance or or we have to obtain the p value probability value to, of the f statistic that we have computed so i we have to compute f value and we have to compare this f value with the table value and we can uh, make a decision based on this value uh, based on the f value that we have obtained and based on the uh, comparison that we have made with respect to this uh, critical f value or the table f value we can uh, either accept the null hypothesis or we can reject or do not accept the null hypothesis so this is the analysis of variance model for regression analysis so this is the and this this area represents the creation of ANOVA table for any sum of square we can create the ANOVA table all these components are needed for creating the ANOVA table and from the ANOVA table we can find out the mean sum of square value also. So this is the explanation for regression analysis with the from the viewpoint of analysis of variance hope you all got this thank you.